Hi guys. I want to make a video about Elon Musk because I realized that he is a very very special entrepreneur and I think we have not seen an entrepreneur entrepreneur like him in a um, in a in a millennia. No, sorry, in a century. That's hundred years. I think the last great entrepreneur um, that was similar like Elon Musk was um, Huge, Mr. Huge, Howard Huge, who uh, was um, a very big entrepreneur in the 30s, 40s and 50s. And um, and, 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 and why? Uh, well, he was also like going from one, in, uh, really innovating many industries. Uh, so he started with... Uh, he was actually born rich. He was he was a child from a very rich uh, um, oil equipment manufacturer, the huge company. Um, uh, or no, I don't know the name. It could have been called also huge company, huge tool company. And, and actually, there's a great movie about Howard Huge. It's called uh, The Aviator, uh, played by, by Leonardo DiCaprio. Absolutely, really good movie about the life of Howard Hughes and, and there you can see so how he how his life was and he started as um, uh, so, so he, was, he was rich uh, but he started uh, in, a, in, in, in the movie business the, his parents had the expectation that he would uh, run uh, the, the very successful uh, huge tool company but um, but he had other plans. Uh, he started to make movies, and he blew a lot of money on that. Uh, but uh, in the end, uh, he really did succeed in in in, in making a, a very very successful movie um, uh, that uh, involved a lot of innovations. He was, he was the first to really start filming with a lot of different cameras, and and um, he, he to apply color and to apply sound. And, and he made a spectacular movie um, with uh, air fights, r real air fights, uh, the way it had to be filmed at the time. There was no computer animation then. It is in the 1930s, actually, during the Great Depression. Um, and um, and uh, you can see that very well in the movie, The Aviator, uh, how he goes about making that movie. And... Um, but after that, he goes to other other industries. The movie really uh, gets him started on his passion for aviation, and and so he starts to like build planes that break spree, speed records, and um, and uh, and starts to buy shares in um, in um, in um, in um, in um, in aviation uh, company, uh, uh, um, an airliner. Uh, and um, uh, and and that way uh, starts to be involved in um, the exploding airline industry uh, because at the time uh, it was also and he was one of the first to really offer jet flights uh, uh, flights with jets uh, to the masses and 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 fought hard to break the monopoly. Um, uh, yeah, the company he bought was a TWA. And, uh, and the monopoly was um, forgot the name, uh, but um, uh, he really wanted to break the monopoly and had to fight politicians um, and, and the government to uh, be able to um, also uh, be allowed to fly uh, over the ocean towards Europe or fly long distance to other countries. Um, and, and so later he went into other industries. Uh, during the war in the 40s he he, he, um, he was involved in building um, um, equipment for the government uh, spy planes and uh, and uh, big planes that would carry huge um, huge uh, equipment um, and then later he would um, leave leave that and go into the Las Vegas um, uh, real estate uh, markets and uh, he bought that was when he was at, at the end of his life um, so he made, did many many different things and, uh, and, and, and yeah I think all the big entrepreneurs that I've seen when I was young Bill Gates, Steve Jobs 
uh, they were all in the tech industry and all like focused on one thing, one company, one industry, and that's where they became the richest man in the world. The last one is Mark Zuckerberg with Facebook. And so uh, most entrepreneurs, like 99 and 100, become rich, uh, very rich, uh, the most successful entrepreneurs by being focused on just one company, eh, the Walton company uh, with uh, Walmart and you have so many of them uh, in Europe, also IKEA founder uh, Igmar uh, Kamprut uh, became the richest man in, in Europe and the Aldi brothers with the Aldi uh, chains, uh, shopping chains. So, so usually people are really focused on one thing and build that out very big and become very rich that way. Uh, but, uh, but, 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 uh, but some very rare uh, entrepreneurs, they, they, they go outside uh, that... Um, and usually the, 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 these entrepreneurs look for the growing industry. Uh, so, so uh, uh, but what Elon Musk did was he went into industries that it every thought was just that are non-existent. There was no industry eh? um, like electrical cars was there was no industry in the electric cars or only in petroleum cars. And so it was considered crazy to start uh, an electrical car company like that was doomed to fail for sure um, when he started Tesla. The same with the other companies who started SpaceX. There was no uh, industry for um, space flights. Uh, it was monopolized by government and and, and and it was absolutely crazy and a total waste of money uh, to start a space company. Um, and what he does also with the other, bo the boring company where he makes um, tunnels uh, in LA right now uh, to uh, to have uh, to, to to circumvent the traffic jams and, and, and to, to, to have cars go via the tunnels and that way a lot faster to their destination uh, this is also um, well that was, wasn't considered crazy but also probably in the beginning uh, like very unlikely to succeed due to all the regulations and uh, uh, that you have to overcome but he's doing all that and he's doing all that at the same time. Eh? That's just crazy. Eh? That shows that um, like, that usually what's said is that you really, really need to focus on one thing and become the best in that and then you can be successful. But as Elon Musk is showing, like if you are uh, very capable, you can actually do se several things at the same time and be very successful with it. Howard Hughes did that also at the time. He was busy in different things at the same time. Um, yeah, so I think that's really beautiful and 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 and, and, and really is changing our 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 landscape. And we're very lucky to have someone like Elon Musk in our time because it will likely really uh, yeah, create a lot of new industries. He's the first to start. Uh, uh, in these electric companies, but it probably like you will see much more of that, uh, and it will really change the car industry. Uh, the same for the space flights, he's doing it SpaceX, and the same for the uh, transportation industry. Uh, like traffic jams are just terrible problem everywhere in the West and the East, everywhere around the world. It's just a, a government monopolized government. Uh, uh, industry uh, of building roads and it's a, it's a disaster even in in countries where you have like the most beautiful roads like the Netherlands or Sweden yeah it's very beautiful but still terrible traffic jams during rush hours because the business model totally sucks it everything is paid from the taxes and and it's a free for all everybody can go on the road for free and so of course everything is jammed packed during rush hours because there is no feedback system eh? like normally you should in in a business ask more money uh, during peak hours and then only the people that are willing to pay that money uh, will get access and and so you won't get uh, traffic jams huge traffic jams um, and the people that don't want to pay so much money they have to like if they want to pay less money yeah they can but they have to go to during hours where there is less traffic eh? so that's a normal way to regulate a problem like this uh, a simple market and, and that's how you get maximum utility of the roads because then now like everybody's a road at the same time and then at the other times it's totally empty eh, or very few cars like that's a total waste of 
resources. Huh? The, 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 the road uh, is a fixed investment. It should be used at all times uh, as much as possible. So, so, so these simple problems are very hard to uh, resolve because um, what can you do? Build a private road. Uh, that, that's um, uh, a very difficult uh, thing to do. You need to buy so much land, get so much permissions, um, and you're competing with a free road that the uh, government can build at any time next to yours. Eh? Uh, so, 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 yeah. And you need permission from your competitor, basically. The government is the same person that's competing with you, needs to give you the licenses to build them. Uh, so, uh, yes, you do have toll roads. Uh, in America especially, I've noticed a lot of toll roads, uh, and a few in Europe, but very few. But, uh, but most of these toll roads in America have an impression are also run by counties and, and local governments and do not really stand out, uh, don't seem to really solve that traffic problem. So the way things are priced is also not, not, not done smartly. So it's not really private enterprise. And Elon Musk, the genius he is, eh, is just solving also that problem today by just digging holes, making tunnels, because that solves so many problems. You don't need to buy all that land, you just go underneath it. Um, because it's so innovative, and you're not really bothering anyone else if you dig deep enough, while well, politicians are much more likely to give you licenses. Also, because you're not really, like, the government is not going to start to dig holes, uh, tunnels everywhere for cars. They just don't that they don't have the ambition, the creativity, the budget, and so they don't mind someone else does that. Eh? So, so, so Elon Musk, he's such a, such a smart man to, to, to approach it that way. And the way he sells all that, eh? it's also genius. Eh? He sells that in a very simple way, non-confrontational. Non yeah, I'm just going to dig a hole, I'm going to start here at the company and, 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 and just get started eh? because the traffic jams just drive me crazy huh? and uh, take it one step at a time but do get started uh, and, and even though he do, he's not sure he's going to get the license and all that just getting started huh? just uh, absolutely amazing and, um, and also like the places he choose to do that LA is the best place in the world he can do it because that's a real car city it's amazing LA is I think a wonderful city because it's a true car city most cities also in, in the US have actually been developed before the car, like New York, eh? for example. And, and, and so the way these cities are built is, is with very, very dense centers because before the car, it made a lot of sense uh, to all uh, well, build close to each other, uh, a pedestrian distance or car, uh, horse and carriage distance from each other to do business with each other. But with the car, you can like actually go a lot further, uh, like do business even though you are a lot further distance from each other. Uh, and, and, and so that's just the way LA was built, was after the car was invented for the most part. And so you don't have a city center really, or a very small one, but every, everybody wants to have their own plot and, and is okay to drive an hour uh, to go to places. And, um, or half an hour, an hour, and... And so that the, the 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 city is very dispersed, and you have plenty of uh, highways um, and uh, and roads uh, to connect everything, and 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 uh, yeah, it's a really cool city, but also like it has the busiest uh, uh, traffic in the world. Uh, uh, maybe not per se busiest, uh, because we probably have other busy. Uh, also, other busy, uh, of course, cities, but busy also in the sense that the value that's transported over these roads is the highest. And that's very important eh? because if you're going to dig tunnels and you want to ask and make that a competitive business, well, that's a very cost, very uh, capital intensive investment. So you need to be able to, to ask the highest prices for that. And you can only do that in, in, in the cities that, that transport the most value over the roads. And that's not about products that you really talk that are transported, but about the people and their, 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 their network and, and, and the value that they create on average. Huh? Um, and, and if, 
a capital like LA is extremely high for the US per person um, uh, GDP uh, gross domestic product is much higher than in Europe socialist Europe mm -hmm. uh, so on average in American uh, in America produces a lot more value it's almost double than an average person in Europe but if you then look at like a city like LA or San Francisco or New York uh, like there the GDP per person is even higher uh, and so these are the and then LA of course uh, a car city these are the that's just the best place to start a project like this and make and uh, have a chance of it to be successful because you can ask the highest prices there um, to access your tunnel so genius huh? real genius and important to say in, in relation to cryptocurrency like I, I think the problem with, with, with this industry is that you have so much competition that's a real problem uh, like the challenge as an innovator as an entrepreneur is to go somewhere where you have no competition that's when you have huge profit margins and then later after you make huge profit margins many competition will appear and then it becomes much harder to make profits that's certainly to come once Elon Musk is successful with his boring company and uh, well with his Tesla company now uh, uh, competition certainly starting but uh, but in the meantime he's building a huge business uh, before the competition is there uh, thanks to being able to ask 100k US dollars for an electrical car um, uh, uh, a lot more than fancy BMWs or Mercedes is like he asks a lot of money for his products and they are produced quite cheaply uh, so the profit margins are very big uh, but of course he applies the same trick as Jeff Bezos does is that uh, no no there are no profits because they always reinvest everything before it is declared as a profit so he's always expanding and have no profits on the books but in the reality uh, there are huge margins uh, he asks a lot of money for uh, these Teslas for example and I'm sure he will ask a lot of money also to access his tunnels or to uh, go sit on his uh, spaceship or um, the prices he asks to others to transport things to space uh, a good businessman asks the maximum price available and that's how you make huge profits but you can only do that in in in, in, in industries where you are the only player or, or, or offering something the others are not offering and I think in cryptocurrency that's our problem uh, I think it is wise to choose an industry that's growing fast um, and uh, cryptocurrency is certainly that but the disadvantage is of course that you have lots of competition and and that uh, that makes things uh, well a lot harder uh, to make uh, a profit uh, and to stay on top um, it was the same during the dot-com bubble internet companies uh, lots of competition um, yeah uh, and, 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 and that's the case with us too but uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.